I know it's a toilet and I get a big laugh from my friends all the time. Like, oh, he's, you know, he's building a toilet. And you're like, ah, not just a toilet, you know, a titanium space toilet. So <laughs> uh, it's pretty nifty, especially when you get into the complexities of it. The UWMS is 65% smaller and 40% lighter than the current toilet used on ISS. Our toilet will be installed just adjacent to that toilet and will undergo a concurrent use with that toilet as we do the demonstration. One of the things the UWMS has to do is it actually has to inject pre-treat into the urine before it sends it to the urine processor assembly. Uh, the pre-treat is a very strong acid and it uh, is not very compatible with a lot of materials so that forced us to have to use a lot of exotic materials such as Inconel, Elgiloy, titanium. So one of the coolest things that we actually did on this project is we implemented a process called electron beam powder bed fusion. That's just a big fancy word for 3D printing. You know, when we go to the bathroom here, gravity pulls everything to the ground, essentially away from the body. Well, in microgravity, when you go into space, you, you don't have that luxury. So we have to essentially create our own artificial gravity. So at the heart of the UWMS is called is the dual fan separator. And that's actually the part that's actually made out of the 3D printed titanium. Exploration is, is a hard business. It's, it's uncomfortable. There's a lot of things that the crew has to do just to, to, to explore. And the goal with the UWMS is, is to, to meet the challenges of space flight in terms of mass and volume and, and power usage and, and keep within those constraints, but also make it a, a system that the crew has a, a more likelihood to be comfortable with.